up pretty gang it's your favorite nail tech peaches back with another month of video now today what you guys are going to see is me having a very serious conversation with a client she is a regular it has been close to a year and this is a conversation that i knew i was going to have to have with her at some point if things didn't improve as far as her keeping her appointments now what you're seeing right now is me trying to set up my angles and make sure that I can protect my clients privacy but also get the content that I needed just to share with you guys how do these hard conversations go and what do they look like okay so if you see that I'm not fully in frame you guys can see how many times I tried to get myself in frame and I was like it is what it is okay so this is just a little behind the scenes of what actually happens when you're trying to create content and all that stuff so I just decided to keep that in there I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video um, I will be back at the end to kind of clear up some things and go into further detail, but until then, enjoy the video and I will see you at the end. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Sorry, I got the camera set up. I'm recording my day today. It's okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, this is for you. Go get the table set up. So what's been going on, girl? You didn't push your point. You got to two. Yeah, my mom, she, before she went to Hawaii, she just got back. She works, drives a light rail, so she takes day off work. She's like, well, I need to have 12 days in my, 12 days in my pay period. Uh -huh. So she was like, I'm sorry, I forgot. So I had to wait, and they were okay, my nails. And then I was like, oh, I started jamming. So I was like, let me just cut them down. Well, then one finger already from the last time was cut, so it was, I couldn't put a nail on it. Well, then two right. more fingers jammed, and only the corner was hanging on, so I just took clippers and took them off. Right. And then I noticed one more jammed, and it kind of ripped. So I'm like, ah, oh, just take yeah. a high this for a while. Yeah, you definitely have to, like, regardless of, of – well, I don't want to say like regardless of what's going on, but it was super dangerous for your nails to, for you to have nails on at that point, like at all. Because even if you're not jamming stuff, the lifting itself, you can get like bacteria can form, like oh, anything okay. can happen because the nails at a certain point, they're going to start to lift Okay. and moisture is going to get caught under there. So mm -hmm. it's really important. You have to get them off. So I would say if it gets to a point to where you're not able to come in how you need to then you'll have to really rethink like if nails is something that you'll be able to keep up with at this point in time for a while like you know until further notice because mm -hmm. otherwise you know nails they do heal up but sometimes they don't always yeah. heal up and go back to normal so okay. you know just you got to keep that in mind because you know you already don't do so well after a couple of weeks so mm -hmm. yeah or at least try and get into book a soak off okay like in the meantime don't try and hang on to them as long as possible because okay. you will well, and because valentine's day because i went to book january and mm -hmm. like i was like okay i'll just come back and then i actually was able to book and then when she did that i looked the next day and it was like nothing and i was like oh hell yeah i mean even in the the meantime i hate to say like go to someone else or or anything like that because i mean you're kind of risking it there too but yeah. you know you definitely don't want to get into a way to where like your nails they become like the trauma that wreaks havoc on them mm -hmm. that it becomes that you can't get your nails done anymore okay you know based on on that so i would okay. definitely say that if, if you if you have to change your appointment or you can't get in like try and just look like okay let me see can i just get in for a soak off okay. versus let me try and fit everything in one appointment and okay it might be that you might have to start breaking them up because now you're in a situation where you might have to wait uh -huh. like a, a while. while. I kind of need to anyway, like with my divorce and stuff. It's yeah, just yeah, too yeah. much going on. Yeah, which is what I figured. I was like, okay, well, when she comes, I'm going to definitely have to let her know. Like, girl, if you, I know you got a lot going on. And if you can't keep up, we might have to just just let it go for a bit or, you know. Yeah, I said for the next probably like three or four months or six months, I'm probably just going to be cool off the of nails. Yeah, which, yeah. So we're going to take these off. Okay, so oops, let's move this into a separate way. Okay. Okay, let me see. We got two, two on one, one hand, hand, five on the other. other. Right? Okay. Yep. Cool. So we're gonna see what's going on okay. underneath there because, like I said, I can see some tearing. Okay. On, I think it's the middle on that right hand. Okay. Yeah, that one was. Uh... Okay. Yeah. So. Well, at the very least, make sure you're okay under there. Okay. And then I can give you an estimate about probably how long it's going to take to heal up. But like you said, 
or I guess like I said, I definitely would say until you can properly keep up, I would just say let it, let it go. I know everyone wants to look good all the time and stuff, but it's just weird. I don't know what happened. Like, even with the kids, when all the years prior, I used to get my nails done all the time and they, I never really broke them. And now it's like, what the heck? I'm not, I don't think I'm doing anything different. Maybe it's just a season. Uh, it doesn't matter. It just anything can happen. Also, people at nail shops and stuff, they use the equivalent of dental acrylic. Uh, okay. So that like makes cement. Sense. <laughs> okay. That makes so, sense. Then. Is this correct? The pinky? Oh, it's not correct. Okay. But products differ. Even though their products suck, it is still, you know, the products are on so. I don't want to say so well, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, it's poor quality products. They're made to be literally be stuck like glue. Okay, you can put those in. Okay. Um, but either way, you're used to going to the nail shop back then. You go every two weeks. Oh yeah. Which is not yeah normal, but here you, you don't go every two weeks. Okay. They last four weeks, so if you're used to going two weeks and yeah, that makes sense. Nothing then. happens in that two weeks, and now you have to push to three to four. Because that's actually the, the the appropriate amount of time, the healthy amount of time. Okay. Then that's a whole that that's a whole different schedule, a whole different everything. So okay. until you're able to be able to like, hey, I know I'll be able to book ahead. I know I won't forget to book. I know I'll be able to have whatever day I book, it'll be able to be steady or whatever. At that three week mark, then I would definitely say we'll just so just let them go for now. That would be the best option for you because. I mean, we've been, well, I think you start coming over the summertime, uh -huh. and... Yeah, because the first time when I got, I had some um, coughing, yeah. and that one was fine, but mm -hmm. I think at that point, I came, like, three every three, so... Or no, at first, it was a four, because you, like, I broke this nail, or this nail had lifting, remember? Oh, yeah. And then you're like, I think they're too long, okay, let's change shapes, but then what happened, you did the at-home soak off. Oh, yeah, and then that And then I was like you're going to take about three months to heal. So then from uh -huh. there, you didn't get to come back until October, November. Uh -huh. And then you did the square ones, which was fine, but then you had the crack in the middle of your nail because oh, yeah. I think it was still after four weeks. Three, yeah. yeah, after three weeks. You had an appointment. I think you had to reschedule. By that time, it was going to be closer to four and a half weeks. Okay. Then you got the duck set. I think you got a nail. I think it was a pinky nail or something uh -huh. that got smashed. So it just until you can... You got to be consistent enough. It's good that you have had the appointment set for the three weeks. Okay. It's just, you know, once it gets close and then you have to reschedule and then pushes it pushes it back yeah. another week or two. Okay. Then that puts you past your, the maintenance that works for you. Okay. If you get what I'm saying. That makes sense. Uh-huh. So I feel like until, uh, I hate telling people this because it sounds like I'm being like a stickler or like, girl, get the hell up out of my chair. But it's really for like safety purposes for you so you don't okay. get hurt or come up with any extra you know because the last thing you want is a, a fingernail that don't grow back because it, yeah. it gets hurt too too many times okay and then obviously for me because i don't want to i don't want to cause any harm to you because if your nails are always too thin or too fragile and i'm constantly doing your nails anyways that's still going to cause problems for you okay that makes sense and your nails okay and i don't want to do that either so that's why i feel like it's best okay best for us to discuss it now so that way in the future you don't be like well i wish you would have told me yeah that makes sense no mm -hmm. yeah yeah i know it's not fun but let me see here but also too i've been getting my nails done for 10 plus years and probably a lot of that was those shops mm -hmm. so i would think at some point that kind of using the bad product probably does have an effect on your nails is that once old damage is is healed up and it's all good or whatever then you know it's kind of on to the next so we're just okay. focusing on like what i see right here right now as you've been pretty much solely coming for me okay. to me i mean so okay. at that point whatever is old ha like people have the misconception that like getting your nails done constantly is bad for them but it's only bad if the techniques okay or the products are poor or improper or on the client's end okay we're not able to keep up because then that it will wreak havoc on your nails in okay. a way that's like it's it's not fun so okay okay that makes sense uh-huh yeah so check the time 56 okay great so 
These should hopefully be off in no time. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, um, like you said, we'll reconvene, let you heal up, and then, okay. like you said, when you have the time to kind of get and three everything weeks is probably like for me like future like i would have to come I yeah three do. weeks is okay. honestly your sweet spot okay to be honest with you because anytime you go after that then that's where you lift for you okay you start to see how do you remember pictures. like certain people on their nail step um uh, i don't know i think because uh, you know what i don't know that's a good question i guess my brain just makes space because okay. there are certain clients that i that I have that either come to me for a long time or just I can remember someone's habits or okay. maybe what they were telling me. Like, for instance, people who are hairstylists, they tend to like to go to shops because why they say it's quick, it's fast, it's easy. But when they come to me, they are very surprised that I'm like, hey, I think we should start you out with three weeks. And then if you still will see lifting there because they're in water a lot. Okay. Water is literally the anti for nails. Okay. So... If you're in any job that has water a lot or you like wash a lot of dishes or mm -hmm. you know wash your hands often okay literally two and a half to three weeks is probably going to be a sweet spot okay for people like that so jobs it helps me remember um i guess and then just like looking at people's hands a lot and stuff like that but okay but that's, that's pretty good though yeah thank you that's a good question <laughs> Cause I was like, how she remember? You was like, well, you came this time, and I was like, oh, okay. You know, I, uh, you know what? I guess, huh? I guess I don't really pay attention to it. But that's probably I can imagine it has to do with looking at hands and doing nails all day. You don't have nothing but time to pay attention. Yeah, to I guess detail so. And, stuff. and then I'm like, if I don't pay attention, that's my ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, somebody can get hurt or or whatever. But then too, like most people, I see the same amount of period of time. And if I can remember what the set was, then sometimes I can remember what the month was. Or if okay. you told me a specific thing, I can remember like, oh, that was like two appointments ago because blah, 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 blah. So. Okay. Okay. That's a, good, a lot of people ask me that because I, I think I have like at least 100 appointments a month. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Okay. That's a, good, that's a good question. But yeah, I try to remember everything about everybody to the best of my ability. That's good. Because I'm like, nobody wants to go to somebody who don't barely remember their name or their mm -hmm. job or that they got kids at, at the very least. So, yeah, that's really funny, actually. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've had that difficult conversation, I'm gonna say a couple of things to help you guys understand where I'm coming from. Now, these type of conversations are not new to me. I am known for either turning people away if they are not in good enough health or just having conversations with them, period, about letting them know that if things continue on this particular trajectory, I just don't see you being able to stay in my chair. Now, first thing is first, you guys did hear a little bit of history that I was explaining back to her because sometimes clients have a hard time keeping up with their own history and they can use things but as the nail tech it is your job to kind of like remember those type of things especially if you're getting ready to have a serious conversation with them you want to have all your facts straight okay so this is a very very nice client she has a great personality unfortunately just due to her circumstances it has made it really really hard for her to accurately keep up with her enhancements and that is the point of this whole conversation we've had a lot of talks before but at this particular time and with her rescheduling her appointment for two months out and still had the mind like still had it in her mind that she was about to come and get a fill like if it wasn't for me basically making a post the day before because i had multiple clients that were actually extremely overdue still booking for fills and thinking they was gonna come up here and get a fill no if it wasn't for that particular post she would not have even contacted me and been like hey i think just to soak off if that makes sense so i did also have to explain to her um that it's nothing personal but your reschedules affects my schedules as well as my time and my money not to say that everything is about money but if you're not going to keep your appointments or your appointments always have to last minute change because you are not actually following the instructions and the maintenance that i'm giving you to uphold your best form of nail health then honestly there's just no point because not only are you consistently not able to get your nails done but now i am consistently giving appointments away to people who are not able to get their nails done which means i'm not getting paid okay so if you're having a hard time with those type of conversations you need to just weigh your pros and cons okay so even if somebody is very nice sometimes exceptions cannot be made and it really sucks and i honestly hate having these conversations but you need to learn how to have that type of like have the type of verbiage so that way when you do need to have these tough conversations it doesn't come off 
weird it doesn't come off you know too hurtful so basically you want to be able to know some key phrases by saying uh, mentioning nail health by mentioning hey this is the best time frame for maintenance or let them know that uh, hey if X continues to happen then Z will be the effect you know what I'm saying or why whatever you want to say so you just really have to learn how to get people to understand the consequences and the situation of if you keep doing this then inevitably that will happen you know and sometimes that helps them to kind of think like wow nails don't grow back and I could put myself in a really dire situation right so as we did the soak off and you guys pretty much see me scrape off the product and everything we are revealing what's underneath all that which in the beginning that's really what I wanted to see and you can honestly see that things are not looking the best okay um, we have a lot of damage due to lifting that's pulling on the natural nail that's causing like rings that is not caused from me like I said she's actually two months overdue okay and just from that your nails are they're just not safe okay so um, again I really hate having these conversations and like firing clients and things like that but honestly it was necessary and I just could see that uh, in almost a year's time this particular client has had appointments close to every month but has honestly only been able to have maybe four sets so put that in perspective if this person has been coming for about 10 months only about four of those times this person has had nails on in which maybe two of those times are fills you know what i'm saying so this is her final result this is what the nails are looking like i hope you guys enjoyed this conversation and it helped and as always i'll see you in the next video Ooh,